Hello, YouTubers today. God bless America and God bless the whole world for God's glory. Today, we're going to have a prophecy on the strain of hormones. That is a hot button issue now. That is the hot news on radio, TV, newspapers, internet, uh, all over the place. This is the Middle East map here. And what we're seeing happen now, God give me this new message that right here is the straight hormones, right here. That is 34 miles wide, each way, 6 mile lane wide, 6 miles wide for one super tanker going in, and then they come out the other 6 mile wide lane in there, and when they fill up the super tankers with oil, there's 14 super tankers average day, 17 million barrels of oil, and uh, if Iran shuts that Strait of Hormones down, and it's going to be the oil, uh, Iraq, Kuwait, you know, uh, Saudi Arabia, we get half our oil from Saudi Arabia, United States of America. Overnight, you'll see the gas prices go from $3.50 a gallon to $7.00. Uh, per gallon, it'll be an uh, oil truck and all like we've never seen in the history of mankind here. So this is where uh, Bible prophecy uh, began here and Bible prophecy will end here. We're right now with United States of America and uh, with uh, Israel as a team and with Iran. I got a, a prophetic word God gave me from the throne room last week. Uh, on a prophecy and the strait of Hormoz. And I, I was in what God showed me. I'm going to explain to you right now for the glory be to God. <clears throat> Let's see. Jesus gave this to me. God gave this to me on January the 14th, 2012. In 20 minutes. Here it is. Here's the prophetic Word of God. Here's the Word of God. Here's the prophetic Word of God for the glory be to God. And this is going to happen real soon. This is prophecy on the straight of Hermos. Right there. Uh, what's happening for God's glory. Jesus showed me on a U.S. aircraft carrier near the straight of Hermos. The U.S. aircraft carrier was turning very sharp and it was rough to make turns. There were mountains nearby. <clears throat> the war drums are beating for the USA to nuke Tyron, Iran. Jesus told me in July 2006, the U.S. nuking Tyran, Iran, and Israel nuking Damascus, Syria. When Israel nuked Damascus, Syria, Syria, then in the Holy Bible in Isaiah chapter 17 and verse 1, the prophecy will be fulfilled. The battle of the Strait of Hormoz will make the U.S. gasoline prices go up to $7 per gallon overnight. President Obama will start a war with Iran to get reelected again. For the American people will get behind the President of the United States in wartime. The year of 2012 won't be the end of the world, but the start of the nuclear war age to wipe out mankind. Middle Eastern Country wars will be the front page news for 2012. And here's the key verse here. The nuclear winner will keep the sunlight out, but the light of Jesus shines forever. And what we're seeing right now here in the Middle East, right here it is, what we're uh, talking about while I'm prophesying this little 34 miles wide area is a straight hermos and right now we're going to see World War III will be starting over this thing over the oil and uh, I think this week President Obama did a kind of top secret letter to Iran they're trying to negotiate with you with them and the European Union and it's the hot spot now you know if they shut that down overnight in the USA you'll see the uh, gallon of gasoline go for 350 uh, per gallon to seven dollars per gallon, and over the world it'll be an oil shock. Heard around the world, it'll be terrible. We're in a depression now, but this will really be like uh, wipeout time to mankind. So there it is. 
you're seeing the Middle East, that's the hot oil spot in the world. World War III will start there. It won't be long. And that's what the prophetic word of God has shown me today. Prophecy on straight Hermos, the battle there, over the oil. And you'll see it for the glory be to God. And we're in a new building now. And I thank Jesus for all of you. And 2011 was a great year. But 2012 is going to be even greater for all your ministries out there. Are you ready? Hold on. God give us a house of refuge here. This is more than a food pantry. This is more than a church. This is more than a home. This is God's house of refuge. This will stand because Jesus is a foundation. God is a foundation. I stand on the word of God. Me and my wife, Betty. And this is God's uh, church of, of refuge. This is his house of refuge. This is his place. This will not fall down like the walls of Jericho. This is God's house of prayer. I dedicate it to God. I consecrate. I sanctify it for the glory be to God. Jesus supersized me five times, me and Betty here in this new building. And Uncle Sam's downsizing me with the food. But praise God, Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord, Lord, he supersized me. Uncle Sam can't take care of God's people. The world can't take care of God's people. The church has got to step up to the plate, up to the bat, and hit the home run uh, out of the park, the spiritual home run. The church has to feed the world. The church has to take care of the government. The government cannot take care of God's people, God's raiment. And you're seeing some prophetic Bible prophecy going to be fulfilled in 2012. You're going to see this new nuclear war age. And it's going to wipe out mankind. You know, a lot of people talking about the end of the world 2012. It won't be the end of the world, but the beginning of the nuclear war age all over the world. We're going to see a lot of wars in the Middle East. Uh, they'll be on the front page of the newspapers. I love you all today. Pray for me and Betty Cully today, at least the Brethren Ministry in Pinckneyville, Illinois. And this is the time that uh, we come, the most important time of, of the show talking about Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy is good, but Bible prophecy warns you. Bible prophecy can't save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. And I want you to say with this prayer with me today, if you believe in your heart, you know, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ can save your soul. Jesus Christ can forgive you for your sin. That you repent in Jesus' holy name and Jesus will save your soul. Say this prayer with me. Repeat this after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for dying for me on the cross so I can live, have eternal life with you someday. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for saving people's souls. God, in North America, and South America, and Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, and I warn you with love today about this prophecy on straight hormones. I'm not trying to scare nobody. This with love, no condemnation, guilt. And Lord Jesus, I pray your anointing goes out there today uh, and do a supernatural miracle and consecrate him and dedicate him and sanctify him. And, and you're, today is the day of salvation. Save your soul today for the glory be to God. Amen, amen. You said that prayer. Give Jesus the best hand clap. For God be the glory. Raise your hands to heaven, Jesus Christ. Just give you a supernatural miracle. Jesus Christ is on the throne. Heaven is thrown in earth's footstool. I love you all today. Me and Betty Cuddy love you today. And at least the Brethren Ministry in Pinkville, Illinois. Write to us on YouTube channel. The Beloved All YouTube channel. Write to us. Email us. Tell them that Jesus Christ saved your soul today. It's the greatest news of 2000. 12, for the glory be to God. We love you all today. Me and Betty, pray for us. We'll be praying for you. Thank you, Jesus. You heard it first from the throne room. ABC don't have it. NBC don't have it. CBS don't have it. Fox News don't have it. CNN don't have it. This is the prophecy of the straight of her moles. Straight from the throne room of God. Thank you, Jesus.